Come here to pioneer. I bring the light to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals cause the rap was coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drink. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is your man, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Now, before we get into this video, you know what you need to do. If you haven't dropped a like yet, please go ahead and drop a like. If you haven't subbed to the channel yet, I'm begging you, please go ahead and sub up to the channel. We're about to hit 20 thousand subs i am so grateful for every single one of my nephews and nieces and we're looking to bring more people with within this family so please go ahead and drop that sub also i do have membership opportunities right so all you gotta do is just look at the link in the description or head to my channel hit the join button and you'll see the three different tiers that we're offering within those memberships okay now let's hop right into this video now a lot of y'all again have been asking me demi what is the best center build that gives you the most badge potential and of course i am going to go ahead and give it to you now you actually can get two pie charts that can give you the most badge potential and they're both tied so of course i am going to give you both builds all right so let's go ahead and hop right into it first and foremost we want to start off with this pie chart here okay it's going to be the finishing and shooting pie chart again this will basically be your peer post score okay now what you want to do here it's really based upon preference right you know you can go with your strength and vert or you can go with strength and agility me i'm going to go ahead and go with speed because i just feel like speed is something you gotta have so that's what i'm going with when it comes here what you want to do is you want to max out and i'm just going to go through this real quick you want to max out your finishing and your shooting and then you want to max out your pass accuracy all right now you have 62 um attribute upgrades remaining but the cool thing is is that as you know you can manipulate the numbers you can actually get some potential um upgrades elsewhere right so what you want to do with your playmaking you want to go ahead and drop from your ball handling your ball handling will give you the most so you can see you go one two three four five six seven eight so eight you have eight right here all right so you can move eight when you go here you see that changes you see how everything changes here so you cannot touch that now when it comes here it's crazy because there's actually a couple places where you move and you get the most out of and some when you move they'll change right so as you can see right here standing dunk and post took nothing changes right nothing changes at all with, with um the finishing but let's see right here if you go post hook you can go one two three nope that ain't gonna work right so then you can go standing one two three nope that's not gonna work and if you go the driving dunk and driving layup is where you can get the most okay so let's try here let's go one two three four five see now you get five instead of three so i understand you know you can't you know there's certain ones you can move and get more out of it than others right and then what you want to do here is you want to go ahead i just went 70 on my interior defense 50 on my um offensive rebound and i went 60 on my defensive rebound so as you can tell by the jersey number 62 right that's what you got you have a whopping 62 badges when it comes to this build now i know the first thing people are going to say is like well man you know the defense is pretty bad man <laughs> this is a pure post score this is something you put on a 1v1 um you can either go on a 2v2 also with a uh, pure lockdown or some type of lockdown build but um don't get it twisted right this build right here is toxic all right <laughs> i mean the sheer fact that you have 62 badges just gonna let you know offensively you're gonna be extremely hard to guard and stop and of course the whole objective of a build like this is like listen i don't even need to have defense because i'm not gonna give you the ball back all right just keep that in mind like this is a really really good build and the crazy thing is is that when you hit legend having a hundred and two i repeat a hundred and two badge upgrades this will get crazy and understand you'll have 10 here so all you can do is then you can get rebound chaser on gold right get intimidator on gold um you can get um i don't know rim protector on bronze like you can get certain stuff 
with those 10 badges and then all of a sudden this build becomes godly so understand do not sleep even if you do not have the actual legend upgrades the, the 40 additional um badge upgrades this is still crazy right um here what you can do is again this is all cosmetic you can pick any size you want you can go burly if you want to for your height it just all depends man some people want to go 7-3 you can go whatever me i just like to stay right here at, for a pair of post score i think that seven foot is um the best right because i just feel like you know you seven feet is all you need then what you want to do is you want to max out your weight right to get to 95 so that's 264 pounds so you don't need to go any bigger because the simple fact is you already have the strength that you need right then for your wingspan i say keep it the same so you can keep that 73 point shot because what that means is you have a 78 mid range you have a 74 three point shot right you have an 89 post move you have a 92 post hook you have a 96 standing dunk and of course you will have a 69 driving dunk which means you get all the big man contact dunks and again that's all you will need right so let's go ahead and look here of course you got to go post score this not that's not even a question right so there you have it it's called interior finisher let's go ahead and test the build out real quick and um go all these badges and then i'll show you the second version of when you can get exactly 62 badges on right so let's go here get them 99 all right 23 badges is just ridiculous first of all what you want to do is you want to go back down punisher hall of fame you want to go deep hooks consistent finisher on gold of course you want to get contact finisher hall of fame you want to get relentless finisher hall of fame and then of course you want to get your pro touch hall of fame right drop stepper is something i do not highly i do not recommend because every time you do drop steps on this game you lose the ball people spam it you know it's just very not it's not reliable so um i do not use drop stepper back down punisher with deep deep post hooks is ridiculous of course back down punisher with fades also is ridiculous pro touch is something a must have when it comes to doing any type of hooks deep hooks or anything like that or layups so that's great if i had more badge opportunities i will go with cross key score if you have not seen my top my top finishing badges you need to go look at that and look at those animations with the cross key score it is op so basically what that means is is that when i'm in the post and i do any type of spin move and it takes me from one side of the paint to the other and i shoot cross key score will come up if you don't know it says boost the ability to make running hooks layups or close range pull-ups while driving across the paint a lot of people sleep on this badge it's extremely op you need to take a look at it and i'm telling you right now you will not be um disappointed but relentless finisher is something you need to have it just helps improves with a lot of contact by reducing the energy loss when i'm attempting i'm um, attempting to attack the rim for contact shots so you just need to have that because your post score you're going to get a lot of wear and tear it's going to be a lot of banging down low so you need to have that all right and then here the cool thing is you want to get your quick draw of course you got to have that you want to get volume shooter of course you want you're going to be doing a lot of shots you got to get tireless shooter if you don't know what tireless shoot is shot attributes from jump shots suffer a smaller penalty than normal when, when you're fatigued you got to have that right you got to have your hot zone hunter of course you got to have your deep fades on hall of fame like this is all for your peer post score the last one you want to do is get corner specials on bronze if you're asking me why you would you want to have corner specials on bronze is because when you're doing post hooks or if you're doing post fades and you're in the corner corner specials will pop up too so it'll be really good to have this on hall of fame or have this at least on silver but i feel like the other badges are must-haves so you need to have that because this is what a peer post score would look like and you need all right playmaking you want to go ahead and get your bell out on gold um post spin technician quick first step unpluckable you probably ask like why would you have bell out well i mean she, she, well what other badges would we put it on <laughs> right you know it's like might as well needle threader I, I would go like this if i'm playing twos also bell out would be good too but um this is what i would go with um dream shake gives you a crazy boost if you don't know about dream shake you need to take a look at it it's um post move fakes have a higher chance of stunning defender also shot attempts following post moves this is huge shot attempts following a post move and shot fakes have an increased shot percentage so you want to have that down low right so basically this is the like most godliest you think of the both the best post scores down low you're talking about the Akeem Elijah ones you're talking about the Will Chamberlain's the Kareem Abdul Jabbar's you're talking about the David Robinson's the Tim Duncan's Kevin Garnett's you're talking about guys that could literally could score on the paint at all times even if you want to go deeper and even kind of go like outside of the main popular ones like the Kevin McHale's you're talking this is that build man it will score all day every day in the paint right here again if you're playing the twos interceptor 
right? I always say that. That's a really good badge to have. Playing a 1v1. <laughs> Playing a 1v1, man. Hey, just pick whatever you want. It really don't matter. Maybe Tyler's defender, you know what I'm saying? Just because you know, you know you're gonna be getting a lot going on too. Um defensively. So there you go. Alright. This is the um peer post score. And now let's go ahead and check out the second version of this, alright? All right, okay, so check it out. So now this is the other pie chart that can give you exactly 62, okay? So what we're gonna do is the same exact thing, all right? We're gonna go ahead and pick this pie chart. Go ahead and go with strength and speed. And then it's gonna be the same exact thing. You're gonna max out all these, all right? And you wanna max out the pass accuracy and then your post, there you go. So now you have here, all right? Same exact thing. Go ahead and drop down your ball handling that's the one that can give you the most you don't want to touch anything here right then you want to go driving dunk oh, i'm sorry you do want to touch something here. i'm tripping all right there you go take that one you don't want to touch post fade or your, your three-point shot or your mid-range right then you want to go to your driving layup same thing you don't really need that and then boom so you're going to take one so then what you want to do here is the same exact thing go 70 60 i mean 50 and then go 60 and you have two left over and boom, right there. So there you have it. You will have 62. Now, um, the same exact thing, 62. This version is just all about what your preference is, right? You're gonna have a extremely higher post move than you do with the, uh, the previous build, okay? This build is gonna be less on the shooting, right? But it's gonna be more on the driving dunk, the standing dunk, and the um, driving layup, right? So it really just depends what your preference is. Because for me personally, I think that the um, the uh, the other versions is more because it has better shooting. That's what I look at it as. So you know, it's really just your call. Um, and now, like again, the post hooks are so much better than the other one. It's an 88. This one here has an 80. Um, the other one had a 90 post fade. This has an 82. But like again, this one has a 94 post move, while the other one just had an 85. The pass accuracy is better on this one compared to the other one. And of course, then you have extremely more playmaking badges compared to the shooting which again I will always think that the shooting will be better but again it's your call you can do the same thing here um, go seven feet go ahead and max out until you get right to 95 that'll give you 256 right wingspan keep the same because you just do not want to lose any of that shooting this is crazy though you do have playmaker opportunities and post score I'm going to still go with post score right and then it's the same thing it's an interior finisher just a little bit different right then what you want to do, of course, we're going to test out the build. This is when things get tricky because, you know, as you can imagine, you, you're going to have just 13 um, shooting badges, which, again, I feel like it's just like, eh, because to have 23 playmaking badges, you don't really need all that, right? But, again, the same thing. You want to go back down Punisher. You want to go deep post hooks. You want to go um, pro touch. You want to go consistent finisher. You want to go contact finisher, and you want to go relentless finisher. So nothing changes here, right? When it comes here, a lot changes. Now you gotta get your quick draw. Remember, now instead of having a Hall of Fame, you only have it on gold. You need to get your hot zone hunter. You need to get your deep fades. Now here, you gotta get Tyler Shooter because it's it's a must have, right? It's a must have, and you still want to get that corner specialist volume shooter. It would be good to have, but you just can't use it. But you gotta have your hot zone hunters. Of course, you need to have deep fades, right? And you have to have Tyler Shooter. So these badges are not Hall of Fame. They are just gold now. So that's a downside. And now people will say, well, this is a plus side here, but then really is it? Because now all of a sudden, yeah, you do get Hall of Fame badges, but it's just like, you don't need all these. Why would I need tight handles, right? Why would I need, um, where's it at? Why would I need dimer? Why would I need handles for days, right? I wouldn't need those, right? So we can go here. Of course, you wanna go Dream Shake. So like, again, these are like, these are Hall of Fame badges now. Yeah, you can go Unpluckable, right? But then from this point, what else would I need? Would Space Creator be a good one to have when performing a step back move or shot? There's a higher chance. Would we do step backs with this build? I mean, I mean, as a center, would that make sense? Do a hop step, you'll lose the ball. Tight handles, why would I need that? It's all about ball handling and size up, right? And now if I'm running twos, yeah, that would be dope because if I'm running twos, then I can go ahead and get floor general <clears throat> right here. Then maybe I can go here or just on bronze and then um, get diamond and floor general. That would be good. Right, but again, like I said, it's just it's just too much overkill when it comes to the playmaking, right? So that's why I would say the best bet would be going with the other. But again, this does give you 62 badges, and again, it's completely toxic if utilized the right way. 
But there you have it, my nephews and nieces. These are the two builds that give you the most vast potential on a center. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like. And again, I'm begging you, please go ahead and sub up. Let's get this 20K out the way. And of course, I do have the membership opportunities. Take a look at that. And this is your man, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger. And you know, when I say I'll be back soon with another banger, y'all know exactly what day I'm talking about, man. I'm talking about tomorrow. I'm out.